Hello everyone, so today is Sunday, that's why my hair is up in a messy uh, bun and I have not put any makeup on or anything. Also it's quarantine, so it's not like I'm going anywhere. But I have finally received my ASOS package that I've been waiting for for over a month. It took a really long time to get, but it's finally here and I wanted to share a little try on haul with you guys something a little bit different than what i usually do on this channel but uh this stuff that i bought was kind of you know thinking about teaching in mind um though i'm doing everything online right now anyway so it doesn't really matter what i look like but yeah it, you know maybe when things open back up i can wear this stuff so um let's get right on into it uh I think there's, yeah, okay, there's this here. So I got four items, and I tend to always go on their sale stuff. I'm tall, I'm about 5'10", so the I got two pairs of pants, and this first pair, I will also put up a, um, a picture of what it looks like online. This first, first pair I thought were black pants, they are actually um, a dark kind of blue jean look, um, but they don't feel like jeans. They feel like more of a linen pant. Um, I got them from the tall section. So it says ASOS tall and I got it in a US size zero, a UK size four. Um, but yeah, US size zero, I'm a tiny human. Um, so they're a little wrinkly but they look like they'll be pretty long, which is good, because I'm tall. Yeah, I was thinking it would, they're a little bit thin. That's what I find with some ASO stuff, like I can see through the material. This one shouldn't be too bad because it's still like, I don't know, it's a darker material, so it should be fine, but it is quite thin but well made, so we'll see how it looks. So, I wouldn't necessarily wear this top with it. I think it looks okay though, for like teaching anyway. Um, I, I feel like it, it looks pretty nice actually. It's, uh, I feel like this part though is really long because I have a pretty, all, like I'm pretty tall and so I have a pretty long torso and long legs and it's even a little bit long for me just a touch this sits almost like to my rib cage instead of just my like waist so it just seems to be a bit tall on me which I guess for you know really really tall girls this is fine it's just a bit long for me the length is perfect like I wouldn't it's actually it's right down to my ankle with this type of pant I don't want it really any longer because I don't want it to bunch up too much I like the pleating in here um, the butt is a, like it's a little bit baggy but that's okay like for teaching I don't exactly want um, my butt to be the center of attention anyway so I, I don't know I think these are nice Okay, the next item is a skirt because right now I'm obsessed with, I'm obsessed with midi skirts because I'm really tall so the mini skirts don't work for me, especially with teaching. I'm thinking about like once I actually go back to teaching not online, it would be nice to have nice, um, outfits to wear and you can't exactly wear small skirts as a teacher. So here it is. Really like the color. Again, it is thin, like it, you can't notice it on camera, I don't think, but I can see through it, but I don't think it will be see-through, hopefully. Um, it does look a little bit big I'm not sure if it's supposed to sit on the waist or not, or like on the hips. 
And if you notice here, this one um, button seems to have stretched a little bit. So there's kind of a hole there, which isn't a huge issue, but at the same time, you don't want it to really pull and look weird. So yeah, we'll see. I do really like the idea of this skirt. I love the buttons. I wish that instead of you having to like undo the buttons and put it on, that there would be a zipper and then I could kind of sew this button more in place. But I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so here's the next one. Um, it doesn't have any pockets. And I like the color and I like where it falls on my leg. The buttons are awesome. Again, what I mentioned at the beginning with this one pulling a little bit is an issue. It sits right on like my hips instead of my waist and I think I would prefer, I'm not sure what the picture had if it was on her hips or waist, I would have to check. I think it may have been on her hips actually. So if that's the look like that's okay but I also, I don't know, I thought maybe having it up here would look better. I don't know, like what do you think? I know this top ne doesn't necessarily go with it, but here or it's down there, okay. I don't know, but I do really like the skirt and I think it'll be really nice for summer. Um, it's very lightweight and breezy. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it would be see-through on, which is nice. So yeah, I don't know, it's not bad. And it twirls nicely hey next let's go to the other pair of pants so this pair i was thinking of more of like a lounging around the house but also like appropriate to go outside in um because i have sweatpants that look pr they're pretty much pj pants so it'd be nice to have something that's a little bit more versatile especially with quarantine um something that is a little bit more appropriate for work but also is really comfortable so there are these green pants. They're in the tall section as well, and they definitely look quite long, so that's great. Um, they have pockets, which is good. Again, the material is really see-through. This one is very see-through though. I think it's just because of like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain this material. It's very, it's kind of a slippery material. It's hard to explain. It's not really what I was expecting. Like it's not a soft sweatpant material. Um, it's in an extra small. And yeah, we'll see what it looks like. It is a little bit wrinkly. So yeah, we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so here are these green pants. The waist is perfect. Um, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's see-through. I feel like I'm wearing, I, what are they? Kind of like balloon pants. I don't know what they're called. Just really thin track pants. Um, they're comfortable, which is kind of what I was looking for. They're actually a bit too long. Like I stand on my tippy toes and they go like almost all the way to the floor. So they bunch up kind of a little bit weirdly. I would almost want to maybe take them up a little bit. Maybe, I don't know. They're, you know, they're definitely wrinkled right now. The pockets are great. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's too bunchy around here, but I really just wanted it for around the house and they are comfortable. They just feel like they're probably not going to last a crazy long time. I would have to be careful with washing them because they could rip, but I don't know. I like them. Okay, last but not least is the skirt that I was really waiting for. I was very much excited for this skirt. Um, this skirt looks like it was in a, I got it in an extra, extra small, which I don't remember doing that, but hey, uh, hopefully it still works. Let me look at the waist. Oh yeah, that should fit fine. Actually, maybe a little bit big still. If this is supposed to sit right on my waist, we'll see. This is, again, see-through. Well, I can see through it. It's very thin. 
Um, I don't think you can see that. I don't know. Maybe a little bit. You can kind of see the shadow of my hand. Um, so hopefully it's not too big of an issue, but we'll see. Um, it's quite soft. I love the buttons again. Uh, and this kind of like burnt orange look. It does look like it could kind of rip easily just based on how thin the material is. I don't know. It, it's What I'm finding is this stuff isn't like made out of the best quality material, which I guess you're getting it for pretty cheap. Okay, this I really like. I like the color. I like the... Uh, detailing like the white detailing um, love the buttons the pockets the length it's a very good teacher length you can wear some cute heels you know be even taller or I can wear some nice flats um, the only thing is is if you can see like when I put my hands in the pockets it does pull right here um, and like you could see my underwear so I would almost want to like just sew that down a little bit but then at the same time this is how I get them on is with the buttons that's why it would be nice to have a zipper here or something um this is the extra extra small and I still have like a bit of room like it would I could probably take it in another inch like that and said it's not horrible you know, it gives me some room to like have a little bit of a food baby. But I'm also, I am pretty small in like a weird, abnormal way. <laughs> so it probably wouldn't be an issue for most people. But yeah, I really like this one. Again, it's thin material, but I don't mind it. Okay, so my final thoughts on ASOS. Um, I've shopped with them before and um, it's been hit and miss. This, I think, was a really good uh, haul that I had. Um, I really like that they are so size inclusive, especially for someone who's really tall. It is nice to actually have pants that are long enough. So I really appreciate that. Also, they go from, you know, like an extra small, extra, extra small, all the way up to plus sizes, which I think is awesome. I do think that sometimes their stuff isn't necessarily made of the best material but at the same time it is you know it is affordable um and you get i think after 25 dollars you get free shipping 40 dollars i don't remember um but that's really nice too it did take a long time to get here but at the same time quarantine affects things so i won't give them too much of bad rap for that but yeah I really enjoyed making this and let me know if you have any other sites that you think I should try out. Okay, I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you later. Bye.